प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन एजेस इन कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स दिस इज वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एजेस ऑफ डिफरेंट पीपल्स इट इज ईजी टू सॉल्व दीज प्रॉब्लम्स बाई इक्वेशन बट बट अवर ऑब्जेक्टिव इन एग्जाम शुड बी सॉल्विंग दीज प्रॉब्लम्स इन द ईजिएस्ट वे विच सर्व मोर देन हाफ द टाइम कंपेयर टू द सॉल्विंग बाई इक्वेशन द ईजिएस्ट वे इन सॉल्विंग दीज क्वेश्चन विल बी बाय पिकिंग द राइट आंसर अमॉन्ग द फोर ऑप्शन using the ratio or the values given in the question forming equations how can we form different different equations depending upon the information given in questions so there are several possibilities like a is age 3 years later after hence down the line can be written as a plus 3 a is age 3 years ago that means a minus 3 A is three years older than B. That means A is equals to B plus three. A is three years younger than B. That means A is equals to B minus three. If A is three times or thrice as old as B, that means A is equals to three times B. A is three times older than or older to B. That means A. is equals to b plus 3 times b which is equals to 4 times of b father was as old as his son at present at the time of his birth so f for father and s for son therefore f minus s is equals to s or f is equals to 2s the present age ratio of a and b is 5s to 6 or 4 years hence or after their age ratio will be 6 raised to 7 this can be written as a by b is equals to 5 by 6 and a plus 4 by b plus 4 4 years later is equals to 6 by 7 let's solve one example by using the general equation example 1 is The sum of the present ages of a son and his father is 60 years. 6 years ago, father's age was 5 times the age of the son. After 6 years, what will be the son's age? Here we can represent son with s and father with f. So as the sum of the present age of the son and father is 60, we can write s plus f is equals to 60, which is equation number 1. and then 6 years ago father's age was 5 times the age of son that means f minus 6 is equals to 5 times s minus 6 this is equation number 2 and we have to find out son's age after 6 years therefore s plus 6 is equals to question mark now equation 2 becomes f minus 6 is equals to 5s minus 30 therefore f is equals to 5s minus 24. Substituting this equation in equation number one, we get s plus f is equals to 60. Therefore, s plus 5s minus 24 is equals to 60. Therefore, 6s is equals to 84, or s is equals to 14. Therefore, you can say s plus 6 is equals to 20. Therefore, age of the son after six years is 20. by this method we can easily solve any problem but this method is time consuming now let's look on the other ways of solving questions by using tricks generally we avoid using variables x and y because there are chances of going wrong when relating the variables with the persons given instead using the first letter will make the relating easy for example s can be used for the son's age and f can be used for the father's age so the first trick is multiple of the ratio that means if in the questions there are ratio of the ages are given so let's take one example that is present ages of kiran and sham are in the ratio of 5 as to 4 respectively 3 years hence the ratio of their ages will become 11 raised to 9 respectively what is sham's present age options are a 24 b 22 c 26 
and D28. We can note here that the age of Kiran and Shyam is in the ratio of 5 to 4. Therefore, Shyam's age should be in the multiple of 4. Only options A and D are having the ages of Shyam in the multiple of 4. The answer should be either A24 or D28. Now, after 3 years, that means Kiran's age as per the option A becomes 24 plus 3, 27 and as per the option D, 28 plus 3 becomes 31. The age of Kiran and Shyam will be in the ratio of 11 raised to 9. That means Shyam's age should be in the multiple of 9. Only option A that is 27 is in the multiple of 9. Therefore, Shyam's present age is option A that is 24. Try to solve one more example by yourself. So the question is, one year ago, the ratio of Suraj's and Vimal's age was 6 raised to 7 respectively. Four years hence, the ratio would become 7 raised to 8. How old is Vimal? Options are A. 44 years, B. 43 years, C. 49 years, D. 36 years. Alan is younger than turning by 6 years and their ages are in the respective ratio of 7 to 9. How old is turning? turning. Options are A. 18, B. 27, C. 35 and D. 36. This type of questions can be solved by equating the ratio difference and the age difference. Here, the ratio difference between 7 and 9 is 2 and the age difference is 6 years. That means the two part is equivalent to 6 years and therefore one part is equivalent to 3 years. Thus the age of turning that is 9 part which will be equivalent to 9 into 3 is equals to 27 years. So the right answer is B 27. Similarly, the next question is the ratio between the present ages of P and Q is 6 raised to 7. If Q is 4 years old than P, what will be the ratio of ages of P and Q after 4 years? Now you can try to solve this problem and please write the answer in the comment box. So the next trick is divisible value. Let's consider one example. A person's present age is 2 fifth of the age of his mother. After 8 years, he will be one half of the age of his mother. What is the present age of the mother? Options are A. 62 B. 45 C. 40 D. 56 Now, let's represent P for the person and M for the mother. So, P is equals to 2 by 5 of M. This indicates that M should be divisible by 5. Only options B. 45 and C. 40 are divisible by 5. After 8 years, the age of mother will be m plus 8. If we consider the option b, then 45 plus 8 is equals to 53. And if we consider the option c, then 40 plus 8 is equals to 48. So, after 8 years, the age is half of the mother's age. This indicates that m plus 8 should be divisible by 2. But the option b, that is 53, is not divisible by 2. So, only option c is 48 which is divisible by 2. Therefore, mother's age is C 40 years. Let's take another example. Sandeep's age after 6 years will be 3 7th of his father's age. 10 years ago, the ratio of their ages was 1 rest to 5. What is Sandeep's father's age at present? Options are A 43 years b 60 years c 50 years d 56 years please try to solve this problem and write your answer in comment box so the next trick is change in ratio let's consider one example to discuss this type of problems father is aged three times more than his son sunil after eight years he would be two and a half times of sunil's age after further eight years how many times would he be of Sunil's age? Options are A. 
टू टाइम्स बी थ्री टाइम्स सी फोर टाइम्स एंड डी फाइव टाइम्स नाउ लेट्स इंडिकेट एफ फॉर फादर एंड एस फॉर सुनील सो द रेशियो इज एफ रेस्ट टू एस इज थ्री रेस्ट टू वन सो आफ्टर एट ईयर्स एफ प्लस एट रेस्ट टू एस प्लस एट इज इक्वल्स टू टू एंड हाफ रेस्ट टू वन आफ्टर सिक्सटीन ईयर्स वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट एज द ईयर्स पासिस द रेशियो ऑफ एजेस विल ऑलवेज डिक्रीज सो आफ्टर सिक्सटीन ईयर्स द रेशियो शुड बी लेस देन टू एंड हाफ रेस्ट टू वन ओनली ऑप्शन ए दैट इज टू इज लेस देन टू एंड हाफ सो द राइट आंसर इज ए टू टाइम्स ओके एंड द लास्ट ट्रिक इज डिफरेंट टाइम लाइन्स आयशा फादर वॉज थर्टी एट ईयर्स ऑफ एज वेन शी वॉज बॉर्न वाइल हर मदर वॉज थर्टी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड वेन हर ब्रदर फोर ईयर्स यंगर टू हर वॉज बॉर्न What is the difference between the ages of her parents? Options are A, six years; B, five years; C, seven years; D, six point five years. In this case, Aisha's father was thirty-eight years old when she was born. So F was thirty-eight, A was zero. Her mother was thirty-six years old when her brother was born. So M is equal to thirty-six and B is equal to zero. her brother is 4 years younger to her that means when brother b is 0 a is equals to 4 as these three equations are not in the same timeline compare the values and make it same equation 2 and equation 3 the common value b is already same therefore equation 1 and equation 3 can be compared and in case of equation 1 and equation 3 there is gap of 4 years to make it equal add 4 in equation 1 so f is equals to 42 and a is equals to 4 therefore the equation 3 becomes f is equals to 42 and a is equals to 4 therefore we can say f is equals to 42 a is equals to 4 m is equals to 36 and b is equals to 0 the difference between father f and m is now 6 years so the right answer is option a 6 years Let's take another example. A father said to his son, "I was as old as you are at the present at the time of your birth. If the father's age is thirty-eight years now, what was the son's age five years back?" Please try to solve this problem and write the answer in comment box. There are some practice problems also. Please try to solve them by yourself. And if you have any problem, you can ask me in the comment box. examples are the total age of a and b is 12 years more than the total age of b and c c is how many years younger than a options are 12 b 13 c 14 d 15 another example is the sum of ages of five children born at the intervals of 3 years each is 50 years what is the age of the youngest child the options are a Two B is four C six D ten. Let's take one more example. That ages of ages of two person differ by sixteen years. If six years ago the elder one be three times as old the younger one, find their present age. Options are thirty six and sixteen B thirty and fourteen C twenty four and eight D thirty and ten. Next example is Steve is older than Mark. By six years, if the ratio of their current ages is seven to nine, what will be the corresponding new ratio of their ages when Mark is twice as old as he is now? Options are seven to eight, B four to seven, C three to nine, and D one to four. 